Widex is one of the world's leading manufacturers of high-tech hearing aids. The hallmarks of Widex are high quality, reliability, innovative technology and well thought out design. And now with the construction of the new Widex CO2 neutral headquarters, the company has been able to place even more focus on environmentally friendly production. Everything we do is aimed at helping people with hearing loss. We endeavor to constantly improve the fine sound quality of our hearing aids and make using them as unproblematic and convenient as possible. Every person's hearing loss is individual and requires a unique solution. A Widex team of dedicated experts creates these solutions. Audiologists, who are experts in sound and hearing, work closely with engineers who specialize in development, mechanical design and plastics, as well as with software developers and industrial designers to create the hearing aids of the future. A broad panel of test subjects provides useful input and tries out innovative ideas for new hearing aids. Generally speaking, there are two types of hearing aid behind the ear and in the ear models. Basically, a hearing aid consists of a microphone. an amplifier and a loudspeaker or receiver. The microphone picks up sound from the surroundings and the amplifier, which nowadays is a miniature computer, processes and amplifies this sound and sends it via the receiver to the ear of the user. The amplifier is the brain of the hearing aid. The components for the amplifier block are mounted on a ceramic substrate known as a thick film. One of the components is a computer chip that processes sound while another is the E2 PROM, which is the hearing aid's memory. The so-called SuperBlock also contains a wireless radio circuit and an analog to digital converter. The first step is to make the thick film plate. Layers of paste, which will later connect the electronic components, are applied to the ceramic substrate. A single ceramic plate is just 0.38 of a millimeter thick but can have up to 33 layers. After each conductive or insulating layer is applied, the substrate is baked in a special oven at 870 degrees centigrade. It can take up to nine days to produce a thick film plate. The computer chip or integrated circuit, as it is also known, is designed in-house and has a computational capability that matches that of the very best PCs on the market. Chips are manufactured on so-called wafers, which contain approximately 5,000 chips each. The chip is small, just a few millimeters wide, but can hold more than 10 million transistors. The plate is then cut into individual circuits. Each chip is thoroughly tested on purpose-built equipment. A special machine welds tiny 24 karat gold balls onto the circuits using gold threads, high voltage and ultrasound. These balls create connections between the elements in the circuit. The E2 PROM or memory chip stores the data that must not be deleted when the hearing aid is turned off, such as hearing threshold data, feedback data, programming data and logging functions.
The E2 Prom is mounted on the rear of the thick film by an extremely accurate mounting robot. Cameras are used to help position the components with 100% accuracy. Other components, such as capacitors and resistors, are then mounted on the front by fully automatic pick-and-place machines. The hearing aid amplifier block is now complete, but will be thoroughly tested before being mounted in the hearing aid. The hearing aid also contains a receiver or loudspeaker. The receiver may be more or less powerful depending on the specific hearing loss of the user. The vast majority of hearing aids also contain a transmitting and receiving coil. For communicating with other hearing aids, FM devices, fitting equipment, remote controls or other wireless accessories. The hearing aid is provided with a battery draw and may also be fitted with a volume control, program button and telecoil if desired. The telecoil, which can be used in places equipped with a magnetic loop system, demonstrates how Widex never compromises on quality. The telecoil and other coils are manufactured using purpose-designed, fully automatic Widex machines for maximum accuracy and durability. The coil machines typically apply between 1600 and 3600 windings per coil, or in the case of radio coils, less than 100 windings. They are so accurate that they make exactly the number of windings requested, no more, no less. When all of the inner hearing aid parts have been manufactured and thoroughly tested and made as small as the latest technology allows, it still takes careful planning and ingenuity to fit them into the hearing aid. For behind-the-ear models, this involves mounting the microphone, receiver, coils and amplifier block in the hearing aid housing according to exact specifications to ensure protection of the electronic components and durability. When designing and manufacturing housings for behind-the-ear models, Widex focuses especially on aesthetics, size, user-friendliness and environmental aspects. The molds are designed on computers and then made in the in-house workshop to ensure the highest possible quality. The molds are produced in the desired shapes and colors and with great precision by molding machines which use a special plastic material. Our plastics department also produces a special wax guard system called NanoCare, another example of how Widex always strives to do things a little better. The system consists of a small wax guard that is placed in the sound outlet of the hearing aid to help prevent earwax, moisture or dirt from permeating into the sound outlet and damaging the hearing aid parts. The wax guard is mounted on a holder which has a removal hook at the other end. A NanoCare robot produces the wax guards and holders as well as the small cases into which these are automatically placed. The nano-coated wax guards and other nano-coated parts help to ensure that the hearing aid performs optimally even when it is in daily use for a long time. For mounting electronic components in an in-the-ear model, Widex has designed a special patented technology, Camisha computer-aided manufacturing of individual shells for hearing aids. In this technique, shells for the in-the-ear models and ear molds for behind-the-ear models are manufactured using 3D laser scanning. 
an individual impression of the user's ear is scanned into a computer and modeled by a software program to minimize its size and create a perfect fit for the user's ear. The positioning of the electronic components is simulated to ensure that they can be placed in the most convenient and unproblematic way. The completed data is then sent to a 3D printer. The shells are constructed layer by layer by a laser beam that shoots down into the liquid material and hardens a layer a tenth of a millimeter thick at a time. With Kamisha, Widex has taken a giant leap forward in the design, size and durability of in-the-ear hearing aids and has set new standards for the hearing aid industry. Quality, durability and excellent sound are the hallmarks of Widex. Quality control is therefore an important step in the production of both behind-the-ear and in-the-ear hearing aids. Purchased parts are always subject to incoming inspection and during the manufacture of the various components, quality is assured through continuous checking. Environmental tests of both the hearing aids and the individual parts are undertaken to ensure that the instruments will continue to perform optimally even after several years of use. And naturally, all of the hearing aids are also subjected to a thorough final inspection. Each individual hearing aid is checked twice at Widex. First of all, all of the functions are checked with regard to their power consumption, output, etc using specially designed test equipment. Then the renowned Widex sound is tested by specially trained listeners. They check to ensure that the hearing aid sound is free from distortion and sounds comfortable and pleasant. If everything is okay, the hearing aids are given a visual inspection and pre-programmed and then they are ready to leave the factory. Tens of thousands of hearing care professionals and clinics in more than 100 countries adapt Widex products to the individual needs of users. This is done using Widex's specially designed fitting software, Compass. Compass and the sensorgram measure hearing thresholds directly through the hearing aid in up to 14 frequency bands, which provides the basis for the Widex fitting method. These special Widex tools help to ensure a successful first fit of the instrument, allowing the user to take home a hearing aid that is tailor-made to match their individual needs. On a worldwide scale, about 1 in 10 people could benefit from using a hearing aid. The improved quality of life that our unique hearing aids can give their users is the culmination of many years of experience, research, development and innovative ideas. With our focus on technology, design and the environment, we ensure that we are able to offer people with impaired hearing the best possible solutions whenever they need to choose a hearing aid or other assistive devices.